Hey guys, a couple years ago I was able to visit the Luna Cycle headquarters in Southern California. Had a really interesting time walking around with uh, Eric Hicks, the founder, and meeting some of the staff. And this is just sort of what unfolded while we were exploring. It's sort of like historical <laughs> archival footage now because their headquarters have changed. Um, they're putting out all kinds of interesting kits and bikes and stuff. I have not yet reviewed any of their products. This was just like a last minute visit, kind of a friend thing. We went out to dinner and stuff and the idea was to give you a look behind the scenes and just to give them some uh, some exposure and you know just share what was going on. I know most of the time I'm covering stuff that's like purpose built, sometimes really expensive and uh, Luna Cycles has been more on the like kits and high powered sort of like off-road private property e-bike type of stuff which I'm always a little bit careful with um, just you know considering like the the legal safety um, issues but I feel like they're doing a pretty good job their prices are really low but again it's sort of like maybe the support has been a little bit more limited I, I can't really say because I haven't bought any of their stuff but I enjoyed spending time with Eric and I hope you enjoy this little uh, video adventure tour <laughs> driving in busy LA traffic on my way to check out I guess this warehouse over here, I'm, I'm looking for Eric and uh, Luna Cycles. Looks like I'm pretty close. Maybe I need to go up one. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what's going on here. Let's do it slightly closer. There we go. It's always interesting when you're going to a new e-bike factory, especially one that is so new. These guys aren't a hundred years old. They're probably just a year or two old. Um, it's late 2016. Let's see, turn in. Excited to see this guy. He's a really dynamic character. Has a lot of, uh, a lot of exciting uh, trips that he's taken and his girlfriend, Ashley, has helped with the company and, you know, speaks Mandarin, I believe. So some really cool, uh, Kind of neat synergy happening since a lot of this stuff is made overseas. Maybe that's it. Just got to try to figure it out and give him a call maybe. Could be right here. That's where it says. I want to double check with Eric before I go down there. Hello? Hey buddy, I think I'm parked outside. Is your building like red and white brick? Yeah. Is that with like the blue and the razor wire or? Um, you see the trailer behind the gate? Oh, come on, Sam, there. You see the gate? Just, you'll know you're in the right driveway if you see a trailer at the end of it. Okay, I'm, I may not be at the right driveway yet. I'm gonna pass. I see a guy on a bike. Did someone just leave on a bike? I don't know, probably. Okay. Here, I'll come out, but. Okay, here we go. I see two trucks. Yeah, the driveway will be full. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's, there is maybe a trailer. I see a Sienna and a Dodge. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay, so I just come right up this thing. There's a Prius, man. Yay! Good to see you, dude. Where should I park? Sweet. Luna cycle. Oh boy. Beep, beep. Nice. Am I okay right here? I don't want to block anything. Yeah, no, it's good, man. It's like Walk you've actually got... got... You know guys who keep an eye on it? Yeah, well, I see painting going on up there. It's, I didn't want to get in their way. They're doing like... You're good, man. We close, Is this okay? We close the gate usually, so it'll be good. Yeah, it looks like there's room still, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay, here, let me grab my phone going, i'm excited all right i got some of the drive here a little bit of uh real-time navigation action hey, happening a shit. we hold this buddy yeah thank you whoa man is that how you do it that thing's cool yeah i like this little guy that's awesome man. Kind of a motorized so gimbal. portable this is how you do everything huh? yeah and i put a little thing on so you can 
A little fuzzy on top. Let's do it. Let's uh Ashley pulled up. Hey, check out this. Is that video. Ashley over there? Oh, well, I guess we, you want to just do the video. I'm doing a tour. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Look what we got Oh shit, man. And this so place is going look up. Look at this. Look, we just got this right now. So this is my first time seeing it. So okay. We, Let's get the reaction. Moment. Yeah. Yeah, okay, big moment. What are we going to do this at? Let me see. Okay. Oh, if there's music, I can't come with the video because it'll get flagged. Is it possible to mute? Hey, baby, turn off the video. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's all right. It's a YouTube yeah. rule. We want people to see this. This is Augustine. Hey, Augustine. Nice yeah. to meet you. This is my main Let's give man. give you one of these. Boom. Yeah. Sweet. Me and this guy to the moon, dude. <laughs> to awesome. the moon. Like, we, we don't we don't. Oh, you to... see. You see why. Yeah, and you'll yeah. see. He <laughs> looks like this guy's yeah. capable of anything, right? Are you kidding? <laughs> where, yeah. where, 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 anything. And I love this. Look at the. Okay, I th we. I think the sound is good. The audio conditions are perfect. This is right, Luna man. Cycles. How long have you been here, man? Dude, five months. Five months. Less five than months. a year. How old is actually Luna Cycle? Is it that that um, how old? Is it? I like think a Luna year? Cycles is maybe three years old. Okay. You know? um, uh, uh, but the retail is only a year. Yeah, yeah. I know it's been in the works for a while, and the whole website like question. And, uh, just been kind of following up and the time we hung out the other day and had dinner yeah. learning a little bit about the story We can dip into that a little bit Hey, so uh, these guys are just like the mecca yeah. Man, I'm seeing a lot of really cool custom stuff. Are you trying to find the right place to open that? We just got received this and this took us actually four or five months in the making. At the same time we released our Luna tool, yeah. we wanted it to come with a complete toolkit. And this is one of the few times that China like, was slower than us. This was actually really slow to make. Really? Yeah, uh, but we had our tool made like within like four or five days. Nice. And this took us about, I don't know, months. Man, I'm seeing a chain whip and is that like a bottom Everything, bracket tool? Like we, well, this isn't we this isn't made by us, but it's branded with the Lunacycle name. Yeah. The idea was we made our own tool and we made it here. Yeah. And, uh, and um, look at this Chinese stuff. Like we're gonna take these out and we're gonna put our tool. I wanted to come with a complete kit that people need, like for their e-bikes. You know, a lot of people we sell to, it's like their first bike. Yeah. So like this is a, my idea was you could buy a complete kit, not just a single tool. So yeah. it's a way that we could package our tool. You know what I mean? And we're probably gonna sell, I don't know how much we're gonna sell it for, but it's gonna be affordable. I like it. I you like know? it. It's really nice looking. And it was really, actually really hard. To, you know, like, like we had the box made for us and it took months. And that's what drives me crazy when things take months to do. Yeah. yeah. For just a simple toolkit. But the idea wasn't this, it was actually, here I'll show you. Let's do it. To, was to, put, to have our tool in it. And um, let me see. Hey guys, you guys got one of the Luna tools? Like the wrench? The wrench? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. the original. This is the tool that started it all. Um, oh, yeah, we got music again. Can I bust that off? Yeah. Let me put this here. Sorry to take all the fun out of all the. Hey, so let me give you the tour, man. Let me. I, I could like tell you the whole story. Okay. Like, yeah, I'd like that. I'd like that. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I've heard this story. Eric and I have hung out a little bit. It's pretty awesome. And actually, what was the. What's that site where they just did an article? Because I want to call that out. It was a pretty, pretty great article. Oh, Electric Bike School. They're like one of the up and comers. Yeah, I've talked yeah. to that guy. He's he he seems guy. like a good guy. You know, and um, you know, like it's a, it's one of those guys who I felt like wasn't giving us a fair shake. Oh. And um, you know, I felt like kind of everybody was against us in the beginning. Where he, where's he from, by the way? He's all over the world. Or... He's in Israel. He's Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wrote him and I said, Hey, how could you like mention all bunch of low, low price? like kit providers and not provide us and not mention us, but here it is. Oh like, yeah. And that's awesome. And you know, it's not just that it's a tool. It's that we came up with a design that mm -hmm. works as good as the original mm -hmm. and we didn't just copy the original and everybody else, they just seem to copy what's already there. Yeah. And what we did was we made a whole new design. It's actually cheaper to make than making a big socket. Mm. In reality, you don't need a big socket like this one. You can get, you know, you can get your bottom bracket off without taking off your cranks. You can fit it right in there or whatever. You know what I mean? Or on this side here. Yeah, that's key, because yeah. taking out the cranks and everything. And, yeah, you know. with the, you know, and it fits in, it can fit in a bike bag, it can fit in our toolkit. It's easier for us to ship. You know, we like to ship international. Mm -hmm. We actually, this is the second version of it. We made the, we learned something when we did the second version. We made it smaller. 
And one of the things we consider shipping. is shipping, and we can fit this in a regular regular envelope. Oh yeah. And, hey, that's you know, good. Good. You know, like, and it's pretty affordable, if I remember right. It's like twenty this bucks. Twenty bucks. Wasn't the the standard tool on the market like sixty right. bucks? Or something? Everybody was charging over a hundred bucks for it. We Jeez. came to market and we started charging like sixty-five, and that kind of set a new level. But still, sixty-five is a lot for a toolkit, and we don't even make that much money off of it. And everybody buys it from buffets. Yeah. And so this is an example of where we can win. Like we can make a better design that's mm -hmm. cheaper to make. And you know, I can I hold it? Yeah, sure. You can have it. I like it. Wow, dude. I by the way, love the lights and I love the just this face is like. I feel like I'm in Frankenstein's lab or something. And there's yeah, crazy yeah. stuff. Oh, cool! I, I got a metal business card. I thought about huh? making this. We laser cutted these, and I thought about laser cutting it to where it could fit the bottom bracket. Oh, that would be kind of cool. And then like I go, man, it it's going to be too cheap. <laughs> We're not going to make any money. Like, I would have to sell them for a dollar. I could give them away. And that's, that's somehow nice. kind of sad. I don't want to ruin the market, but we can make this thing. Eric, am I supposed to take this yeah, and then spray know. paint on it? And is that how you get in the word out of this thing? I love I know, it. I love it, stencil. man. That's funny. Thank you. Yeah, I'm go for it. Yeah, yeah just take it. Yeah. Okay, let me do it. Let me, go, let me try to do this. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. All right, so um, this is our lathe. Um, Forget all this stuff. Let me show you something that changed everything. Okay. Like, 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 like we, we've been growing pretty fast, obviously. Mm -hmm. And one of the big problems we had was cardboard. Mm -hmm. And we were getting buried in cardboard, right? So, yeah. So like, this is our shipping center over here. And it's kind of top secret, but that's where all the real action happens. And this whole place would just get buried in empty boxes. Huh. And so, for, like stuff from China, is that where the cardboard's coming from? In different places, like everything, like, you know, like uh, some of it's from, you know, we use China suppliers, obviously, and we use USA suppliers. We buy USA whenever we can. Yeah. But just, you know, we're box shufflers. So, you know, we deal with a lot of boxes and, you know, this machine changed everything. Oh and boy, I think I know what happens here. Yeah, <laughs> crushes it. And, you know, at first it seemed like a really bad idea because I almost died putting this thing in. Oh my like gosh. We were using forklifts to get it up, me and my, me and my buddy. And it toppled at one point, almost took the wall out. Oh man. And it was like, I saw like all of Luna Cycles flash before my eyes. <laughs> and, you know, like, I was like, shit. But like, you know, like, you need to think about like trash and how you deal with it. Like, like so much of our manpower was going to like breaking down boxes and like, taking them down to the recycle place and now we can make big ass bells yeah and um we take them down 10 at a time and get like 500 bucks 500 well, bucks that's a load. awesome yeah yeah so anyway here's my office and it's on wheels up here yeah dude that's my office and look at this i'll take you for a ride in it later that looks fun it's the coolest office ever and when i'm <laughs> all done with the electric bike business i'm getting into the office business the office business. i'm not even kidding i got and i got one outside and the original idea is behind this, it's me and my fiance's business. And this is supposed to be hers and that's supposed to be his. Aww. And we're gonna, we're gonna vinyl wrap them. And this is actually her office that I'm borrowing for now. Oh, and the I big did. black one's gonna be mine. That's and awesome. we move them in and out and they go up 50 feet in the air. Sky Jack, that's gotta be an awesome view up there. That's awesome. We got the ocean nearby. And I love the skylights. I bet everyone. So this is, this is our shop mm -hmm. and it's messy. And I don't mind because our guys keep really busy. Yeah, um, it's a working shop for sure. Yeah, and uh, well, and dude, just a second. I mean, we're looking at it's like 5:20 Friday afternoon. Does this place stop or what? Hell no, dude. We work till 10 o'clock every night. Every Jeez. night we open at 10 a.m., 10 p.m., and me and Ashley work till three or four in the morning. We're wow. like nobody works as hard as we do. Like like we work really hard, and my guys are soldiers, and and we all we're all in this together. And this shop is like. You know, a lot happens in there and we don't have time for cleaning we don't have time for eating lunch oh no and, you know and, you know they got to keep up with all this and it, it's a lot you know it's a lot and uh let me see so let me show you our uh cncs okay we got two big ones this one here is our uh as our as our granddaddy, and we got a five axis head for it over here. Right I'm here. not super familiar with CNC, so this like cuts metal, like this wrench. Is that how? how yeah. That works? No. Well, this is made in a cutter. These are we make we pile stainless steel up, and we actually make these in an EDM. Uh, Does uh, it press it, or I, I just don't know? Is it like water that's really fast? No, that uses a, uh, a laser. A wire. Yeah, like a, a wire. wire. Yeah. Whoa, cool. A wire EDM, and we cut up 
we stack up stainless steel sheets mm -hmm. and it cuts through them like butter, like wow. 50 sheets at a time. How do you get it to, you have to drill a hole first? We so have the to wire drill a hole first. Okay. Yeah. And so this is- um, Learning so much. This is our uh, CNC. Uh, this one's big enough to do a body. We could like put a door in here. Wow. And the idea for this one is we plan to make frames. That is exciting. Uh, we want to do like molds for frames. And we have a lot of ideas. Like my idea has always been to build bikes. Yeah. And this one can build a bike. And uh, we don't have, we can't afford a five axis machine, a real one that would cost a million. So there's a local place and they're supporting me. And this is a TriTech head. TriTech, okay. And it's a five axis head. It goes like this and it'll cut any shape. Wow. So we can make anything with that. You know, it's not a, you know, it's pretty awesome. And uh, this is another three axis machine. This is our EDM that I was telling you about. And EDM is a, is a wire cutter. Yeah. And it'll just cut through anything. You could cut through 10 inches of titanium with this thing. Oh my gosh. And it's, and it, and it's the most accurate cutter you can imagine. Well, I remember talking last time about how, you know, some of this, I think you're getting it because other companies are offloading it and you're like, hey, let's see if we can do something special and actually make it here and, and be, yeah. be there. Like, design all of it. Yeah, and we do it like, like this is our table. We made our own table. And these are like <laughs> cyclone drives that we just brought in. Yeah. And we're gonna make our own brackets and everything and redo all this. And this time we're gonna do it right because we have the CNC machines to do it. And the idea of CNC is like, yeah, of course we can get it made cheaper in China. Yeah. But um, we can do things fast. Uh, we have uh, three full-time engineers that can make stuff. Uh, this I got is, some security uh, going on here. Hey. hey. This is one, uh, one of our main engineers. He's what I call a wizard. Okay. And he can make anything. And it uh, moves at my speed, which I love. Yeah. And uh, we're working on some pretty amazing stuff together. That's sweet. Yeah. Here's our chain wall. I'm really proud of our chain wall. And we made this chain wall and we welded it. And a lot of people give us trouble. Like uh, like a lot of my old Endless Beer buddies, they like say, ah, those guys are just sellers and they don't understand we're over here like building stuff. And they, yeah. one of the first things we're trying to keep up with it all, but hmm. we like constructed this and welded it, right? And if you look on this side, it's like, bam. We're really proud of our chain rings. Ah, a and lot of different sizes. A, and yeah, and this is our newest one. We haven't even had time to put it on the website. Huh. And you can see like we double chamfer everything and the works, workmanship and the love that goes into this is just unprecedented. So is this, for someone who's maybe less familiar, uh, you've got the mid-drive and you can just change the chain ring size chain to rings. change the performance? Where, you, know, you know, to me it's more about the art of it. Like if you look at these, it's art. And it's and narrow wide too, so you get less chain size. Yeah, look, at, if you can just, if anybody ever sees our chain ring, it's not just reading it, but if you ever get to hold one in your hands and you see the level of machining that went into this hmm. and realize that it's made here. I That's mean, cool. And we're trying to do this with every part. Like we're trying to get to where, you know, we're, we're recently making our, our own uh, chain wheels here and, um, and we made our own big, and we're trying to get to the level to where every part's perfect, you know, and eventually when we assemble it all, we're going to have the perfect bike. Sweet. You know? and, you know, we're a new company, so we're moving as fast as we can. Not as whoa, fast. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, so this is a double chain wheel. One of the big problems with a lot of this stuff, like the sick bike parts that Cyclone uses here, is kind of, kind of, kind of, you know, this is theirs and this is ours. And the free wheel is much higher quality. It's hmm. been a problem in the electric bike world for years for do it yourself that the free wheels were weak. Yeah. This free wheel will take hell. And, and it's made, you know, out of 70, 75, which is super expensive. So and one of these chain rings has the motor attached and the other one goes back to your... Yeah, and they're actually, you can see they're two different sizes of rings. Yeah. One's for a, one's going right to the motor mm -hmm. and one's going back to the wheel. So this one, you know, it's like for a regular nine speed chain and this one's for a single speed thicker chain. Yeah. And just, you know, we just think about it, everything when we make this stuff. And this was actually pretty tough. This took us a long time to get this and we just got it this week. Oh man, so congrats. We, yeah. And let me see. Uh, um, and, uh, but this is our chain wall and we sell this stuff as fast as we can make it. You just come over here and scan it and then ship it out as yeah. there's like your barcodes? Yeah, we got like a shipping system like that works. Yeah, it's, it's pretty and, organized, man. And I, I we, could, we also sell our competitors' products. This is the Lecky product. 
Hmm. And we sell it as well. That's cool. And it's it's awesome. I like what they do, and I like that they just didn't copy somebody. Yeah. If you, if you wanted to see, uh, I wish we had one. Hey, do we have an old chain ring? An old chain ring anywhere? Like a chain ring adapter? Like anyone? Uh, like the old one. Like uh, or just a metal chain ring adapter. Yeah. Do we got a little one? Yeah, that's in the shop. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, like. Like all the different vendors are just copying the same chain ring. Our hmm. chain ring looks like this. Hmm. And that's like, like, this is our first chain ring. So our first attempt at a chain ring is just like a home run. Like, you know, like we just pulled out all the stops. How does this work? Cause I'm used to seeing teeth on it. And this is, this is like an they, adapter they or something? to the race bases like this. And we're going to make our own race bases. So this is like a spider? Is like, that I don't know why nobody's on? made a race base yet. Yeah. But we're going to make it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've yeah, been warned, race like, face. Yeah, we're going to make them. Like, I don't know why. Like, And we'll make it better. We'll make our own literation of it. I think a lot of people, they just copy each other. Yeah. And a lot of times they have the wrong idea. This is Big oh, Tricks. Thank you. And they just copied verbatim a California e-bike design. Yeah. And we come out, like, I don't feel bad making a chain ring as long as it's different. Yeah. And they, they're all doing 110. We decided to do a 130. Hmm. So it'll fit a different type. So rather than come to the market with something that everybody else has, and we can make this so cheap, but there's no reason to. Yeah, like, it's because done, it's already it's there. there. Yeah, yeah, that's a and good so point. Many, kind of so focused. many times we have. I can have this made. Let, let me see. Let's go. Wow, this is like hey, a. Jose, how long would it take you to design me that part? Uh, it would take like 15 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> 15 wow. minutes. That's so awesome. We, we can do it in 15 minutes. I could have that one sent to a laser cutter here in town. I can have them in two days. So do you do that? Is is like in CAD, and then you would you would either stamp it or you'd use your CNC machines or something? Yeah, we do. We uh, lo use a lot of local machine shops as okay. well. Yeah, so you're partnered up in addition really to having do. some of your own tools. Yeah, you... like a lot of uh, uh, as we're getting geared up, we can't mm -hmm. make everything here. We give a lot of business to the local economy. That's cool. Um, uh, I actually, uh, a lot of our stuff's made in Northern California from a good friend of mine that we worked very closely together for many years, including on a on a bike that we made together. Can I ask a question? Just because yeah. I'm I'm a little bit less familiar with DIY and the kits and stuff. You know, I test them out, but a lot of times the bike's already set up. I haven't made too many kits, mm -hmm. and I see something like this, and it there's it's deeper. Is that so that? The chain ring lines up more with your with your sprockets in the back. Or well, tell me what's going on. What, what this is is this is um, uh, uh, yeah the the BBSHD has an offset and it makes it more difficult to oh, make. Oh yeah, yeah yeah because so, it sticks out yeah, the side a little bit. Yeah so so it has an offset and of all the chain rings, this one has the most offset and to have this much offset, it has to be made with a lot of precision. Hmm. And one of the really great things about this design is that. It's 7075, which is really expensive and hard to machine on the outside, mm. and it's and it's um, and it's uh, uh, the softer aluminum in the middle, which is much cheaper. So it's a two-piece design. Wow, yeah, I see that now. Like you've got it kind of, and it's just seamless. Like I barely even feel the ridge. It's and what's really beautiful well done. about that is we take the middle piece and we make another chain ring out of it, and we make. And we oh, make cool! It. You recycle it? <laughs> yeah, we that's do, cool. We run it through the machine again, and we make this guy, which is our mighty mini. And see, if you look, we cheated a little bit, huh. you know what I mean? And that's how, you know, we're able to do this. And it's the right way to do it. Like that's we cool. can, sometimes like you can make it all, all of one big piece of 7075, but it's kind of wasteful. Yeah. You know, 7075 is more time consuming and energy efficient to make. It's more expensive. Yeah. So it's also saves us money, but it's, it's just the right way to do it. That's and it, cool. this by the way is my favorite. Uh, chain ring for the BBSA. Does it have a name? Do it's all the mighty mini. The yeah, mi that's what you're saying. Mighty the, mini. Okay. This is the eclipse. Sweet. And it, I, it's just like I think everything we do. I don't think anybody even touches us when it comes to chain rings or or sprockets. I've think. never seen this many chain rings on a wall before. Yeah. It's pretty impressive, man. And I like the different colors. I guess in some cases I'm seeing black and red and you know anodized. I'm and, I'm assuming. You know, like here's our batteries. Mm -hmm. And we made took the time to make a box. Jeez, this is cool. And like, you know, cause we got Whoa. a double box. Who, who did the graphic art we, on this? You know, like, like um, we did, like we, <laughs> we, we, um, we, we get together. I work really closely with a lot of the designs and uh, uh, we have a good designer and we have a web, web artist. I mean, most of the magic that Lunacycles does is online. You know, mm -hmm. like I'm always a, 
reminding everybody we are an e-commerce company. Yeah. And I'm really proud of Luna Cycles and I'm proud of this space because it's only five months old, but I'm even prouder of what we built on the website. And yeah. I think you appreciate that as a web oh, guy. Oh yeah, for sure. And I get really mad when people like knock us and say, oh, Luna Cycles is just this because of this. But we did the work and almost everything we do, we take pride in. So this is our box and I don't know any other battery company that bothers with the box. And the idea is that it's all spacey on the outside. Yeah, Luna I like that. Like space. Luna, yeah, yeah. I hang out a lot at SpaceX. Sweet, you right down the street, you were saying, yep. right? You um, got the rocket stood up. Yeah, like um, a lot of our engine. We have a few engineers <laughs> who work over there and come and help us at night. Oh, cool. And because that they're the best machine programmers in the business over there, hmm. and they're just a mile down the down the road. And That's... I got SpaceX in my brain a lot. Yeah. And, so well, you're way up on that forklift thing. Yeah, so like, you know, so here we are, we're spacey, we're Luna cycles, you know, we're nuts. But when you open it up and it's on the inside, it's just about the bike, you know? This is really pretty. Tell me, is that That's like a... That's the Audi e-bike, which is my favorite bike. You know, it's, it's what inspires me. Mm -hmm. And basically, okay, here, you know, it's something that's like spacey and like cool. And you open it up and it's a bike. Yeah. And to me, that's beautiful. And I don't know if anybody gets it and nobody's ever commented on our boxes before. But we put a lot of love into these boxes, and it's not like it brings us any extra money in. Well, most hey, of what uh, you see is this. Can I get a cigar box? You know, just basic. One of the cigar boxes? This yeah. is heavy, man. This It's like a 17 amp. What was the specs on this? Oh, that's a 17.5 uh, um, amp hour, 40 That's a 17 and a half amp hour pack wow. inside there. And dude, we're rewriting it. We're rewriting the way this game's played. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of guys hate me for that, but we're. We advertise what's in this thing. Mm -hmm. like we say exactly which stuff. And we don't just say, hey, you don't see me saying our bike or our battery gives you an 80 mile range or 50 mile range. I try to explain everybody what a watt hour is. Yeah. You know, and that's that's makes us different. And if somebody calls me on the phone and they say, I'm about to give you like $3,000, you know, answer these questions. How far does it go? How fast does it go? Yeah. I said, man, you're wasting my time. Just, you know, research it online because I'm not the one who's gonna answer those kind of questions. And if I answer those questions, they're gonna sound low. Yeah. You know? I give it, you know, but this is a 17 and a half amp hour pack. And people in the business. Can we take it? I kind of want to look closer. It, you know, this, man. Is this is the real first time I've seen density. it. And how did we do it? It's not that we have some secret recipe. We just use the best, most expensive 18650 cells in the business. And I can show you those in a second, but that's how you do it. That's nice. You just use Good ingredients. What's right? is this like a? You got well, this like case a, is nothing. I mean, well, like, it's still kind of nice. This yeah, is this, stuff okay. I appreciate, like this USB. Is, this is the latest generation of cases, mm -hmm. and they have a USB and an on and off switch. Okay. Um, is that for safety? Like, what? Why do they have a physical on off switch? On, on and off there? switch, I love because uh, you have to. Uh, a lot of the kits don't have on and off switches, so mm -hmm. like, and they, you know, like a, a part of what. The beginning of Luna Cycles is actually is I wrote an electricbike.com post on that the do-it-yourself businesses let us down hmm. by not making on and off switches. Well, what and do you do with it? Like how I I'm no, but if you know like a lot of the kits and I, like and I'm going, dude, like I I test ride a lot of like factory e-bikes. Yeah, and I'm sick of like. Uh, uh, do-it-yourself bikes that have to be unplugged with like a plug it's like a joke yeah, and yeah. I think the vendors let us down hmm. and I said that I did an open article and Justin and Paul came on and kind of said oh that guy's a total idiot oh. and I kind of stood behind that and I still do that our do-it-yourself world doesn't have on and off switches it's up to the do-it-yourself vendors to offer to offer those type of things well to help correct my perspective here Eric I'm, I'm genuinely yeah. like I review bikes a lot, as you know, and I'll go up and I'll be like, ah, there's two steps. I gotta turn on the battery, I turn on the display. And to me, it's like, wow, wouldn't it be faster if you just did the display? But I've always wondered like, well, maybe there's you know, a- You know, with the, some of our, with mo the kits that we sell, most of them have on and off switches. So it's true, you don't need an on off switch on it. It's but, it but it's gotta be, isn't it a safety thing or something? Maybe for shipping or is there no. some other? No, you know, uh, I'm, I'm asking, like, I don't care. I mean, it's you not know, that. Like it, it's fine. Like it can go with or without an on off switch, but I think you need an on off switch on your system. What I'm mm -hmm. against is, 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 is products like kits that don't have to do it on an off switch. Where you just plug the battery in and it's on. Is yeah, that what you're saying? saying? Well, they'll say it's the battery maker's job. It's oh. not the, it's not, or it's the controller's job. And I then, see. And like to, you need to buy this like 
crazy looking Chinese controller and you have to run a wire to it. It's ridiculous. Like yeah. more than 75% of the do-it-yourself bikes that I rode, because I was big in the do-it-yourself scene, right. didn't have on and off switches. And you and you plug them in, you'd think it's ridiculous. Like, is this new to you? Like you take a connector and you plug it in and it sparks. Oh yeah, that, just... I'm not used to that. And you Anderson connectors and stuff? No, no, they, do, they used to do Deans. And one of the things we did, hey Kathy, can you grab me an XT90? Oh, here they are. We made XT90s really popular. Right. Thanks for your help. And see, like what we do is we're trying to get people off of Andersons mm -hmm. and get them into like XT90s. Yeah. What, what's better about this? Well, XT90s make a much more solid connection. And the do you want me to get you another piece here? Is it, we, we also sell the kinds with spark resistors on them. Because let's say you take a high power battery and yeah. you plug it in like this. All the, um, the capacitors and the controller load and it sparks. Wow. So when you're doing Andersons, and I know this from being in the on a, being in the do-it-yourself scene for a long time, yeah. these will burn out eventually. That's oh. what makes the connectors weak. Okay. So you can run twice as much power if you can deal with that spark. Yeah. Right. So an XT90, uh, uh, the ones we sell uh, that have these aren't, but we do sell the spark-resistant ones. When you plug them in, um, they make a small connection first, which which precharges the yeah. battery, and then when you plug and then and then it makes you make a solid Sorry, connection. Bud. And it, uh, and it, it, and it, and it eliminates that that spark. Okay. And see, to you that sounds crazy, but huh. like every do-it-yourself bike builder knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, like thank you. you. The thank bike you. And I'm, it's like, I'm here to learn, and, and it, you know, you know give I'm you. I scared a... my like non-do-it-yourself <laughs> yeah. friends, and I'm like, you know, somebody should deal with that. Can and I tell a quick story that's relating to yeah, this yeah, a little bit? Ahead. When I was a little kid, I was always exploring, and my parents were afraid I was going to touch an electrical outlet and get shocked. But you can't see electricity. So my dad took me to the cattle supply store and he was like, well, this is electricity. <laughs> yeah, so I've, I'm familiar with the pop that you're talking yeah, about. It's, like, it's just know, it a different everybody. setting. And all these memories of riding around in San Francisco with yeah. cold hands. Oh, and wet, these, potentially. And oh. these things come apart. And mm -hmm. it, it's just like a convenience thing. And, you know, like, you know, so like, I think every bike should have XT90 connectors. And you know what? They're kind of expensive. But like, we brought in so many of them and we sold them cheap. And, you know, we kind of set the precedent. And now even some of the Chinese packs are coming with them. Here's some of the uh, our battery packs here. But you see, we every pack has XT60s. This is the oh, wow. spark resistor. And see what it does, that green thing means that it makes the connection first. You only need it on the leads. Huh. So, so on a, a 50 amp, this is a, a, a 100 amp BMS in this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like this is the real, for the real, the real toys. <laughs> and it, you plug this thing in and 100 amps is a lot. Yeah. And it's going to make a big spark. Well, yeah. 100 amp, I'm used to hearing like 20 amp controllers. So when you're saying I'm familiar with volts, amp hours, and watt hours, but 20 amp, what is, what do you mean by 100 amp, amps? Amps is how, like we're selling to do it yourself yourselfers. Yeah. That's our thing. All right. And. And we don't know what they're going to use the battery for. So we need to have quality connectors. Yep. You know, um, a lot of times I'm saying, God, you know, like for these things, they should just be hardwired. And I get a lot of friction for that. You know, that, you know, like um, we shouldn't even provide connectors because they should solder their wires together. Hmm. But the reality is, is we're finding that our customers don't like to solder right. and don't want to solder. And it's causing us a lot of problems because they connect the red to the black. But we sell to the do-it-yourself community and we don't know what they're going to put their bike on, yeah. the, which bike they're going to use for. So if a customer wants something like for a, a, a really high power, they want like a 100 amp BMS, and uh, this is actually uh, 72 volts, 25 amp hours. Wow. This is enough yeah. to power a motorcycle. That, it, yeah, it looks like it. You know, this will put out 8,000 watts, and it's actually made for my frame. Huh. Uh, uh, you know, fit perfectly in my frame. And you know, it's for like the speed freaks who buy lightning rod kits. And you know, like to us, like a, a HD is kind of like tame. You know, like it's really not that much power. We've had that much power for years. Yeah. But you know, to me, it's more about making the power more accessible and user friendly. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of creativity that can grow out of these options. We put like we put voltmeters on our packs. Oh, Nobody does cool. That. You know. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, like little niceties like that. And we find that people like that. They want to know, you know, how much is left of my battery and they hit a button and it lights up. And it makes a pain in the ass for us because the voltmeter breaks and people want a battery to return. Oh man. So that was like a real challenge at first. Yeah. You know, and got it down, we, getting the kinks worked out. I mean, we were working it out. Like we, like we thought about putting it outside the pack. Yeah. You know, we sometimes we wire them just with a lead or something, plug sometimes it in. Sometimes I say, the hell with it. We're not going to do it anymore. <laughs> well, you, that's the thing. I don't, I love digging into this. It's, I feel like I'm learning a lot, 
But you're talking all about DIY, and it sounds like you're kind of going towards the direction of selling some like purpose-built, like yeah, ready yeah, to go. No, but uh, real quick, hey, is this the box you were? Oh you, yeah, you yeah. I don't want to miss that. And like you know, like, yeah, our, we love our boxes, you know, and you know we're we're making our next box, which is gonna shock the world <laughs> because we're in the do-it-yourself crowd, and they're not used to getting their stuff and like thought out. Packaging. For real, like that's that's the packaging yeah. right there, the brown, boring but stuff. But we're like, you know. I Galaxy like theme box, and we don't say, "Hey, you get your stuff in this like fancy box." Mm -hmm. We don't even mention it's it. a surprise. That's Are we surprise. ruining it? Are we ruining? I'm sorry yeah, if but, we're taking yeah, the surprise and, out. And, I, and we never mention those things, and it's just kind of the extra. And 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 there's a lot of passion coming out right and, now. And you know, it's like design. That's... Like I made these boxes strong enough you can step on them. And actually, what it does for us mm -hmm. is there's also. There's also a master plan, and oh, I, hate, okay. I hate showing everybody how to run the, how to do their business. Like, but look at this. <laughs> you take this, and it fits perfectly in a flat rate envelope. Right. Nice. So the idea is this: it doesn't cost us an extra dime to ship it, mm. and we're getting maximum protection with what's ever inside. Yeah. Well, it's something special inside. Sorry, we're forcing it right now. Hey, Kathy, <laughs> did I get this right? Is it supposed to go in that one? Yeah, here, watch. Watch it. She is she the pro. Take your time. No, this oh, is... man. No, look at that. It's perfect. Oh, God. Perfect. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. We yeah. all have specialties. Yeah, but is that amazing? That's so that, sweet. That's the real idea. Are you familiar with Imaginary Foundation? Like, no. it's a company that has some really cool designs, and I, I just like your shirt and stuff. Oh, thanks, I just, man. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thought I'd call that out. Yeah, but, you know, I really thought this was like a really unique idea. Yeah. It's like, because, you know what? We did get a lot of shipping damage and stuff, and it's like, it doesn't cost us an extra dime to ship it. Very nice. And I think it's a nice touch. Like, this comes for me, like, being excited when I'm getting my parts. Yeah. And to get in the extra touch of this, it's like, to me, it's like one of the many things that we do, and we just do it well. Yeah. And I, I'm, we do shipping well. And I well, yeah, these guys have been she's gone. nonstop. But, I see the peanuts, and you got the boxes dude, going. It's a factory right hard. here. Like learning this was hard. Hmm. Like I, I, I mean, shipping is hard, man. Like like making stuff is fun and easy. Shipping is hard. Hmm. And um, here's all our connectors. And we just moved here from different places. We we had a warehouse in San Francisco for a while. And, um, Whoa! So to get everything over. It's the glossy and, section. And these are all bikes. And we just started selling bikes uh, like a month ago. Wow. This bike here, I'm working with. Um, um, a, 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 a big one of my heroes and he's uh, allowing me to use his design for a friction drive that we're gonna put on the back of this thing oh cool and I'm gonna go for the world's lightest electric bike bam it's awesome it's like, this is yeah, all carbon it's all carbon and we're gonna we're gonna Arrow. put that up on the website within two weeks oh my gosh and you know we're gonna and we're gonna we're eventually it's gonna be the world's lightest electric bike you know, one of the articles I wrote is about a guy in Switzerland who built one. Yeah. He's like 20 pounds. And we're going to make it the world's lightest, like, production like, electric bike. And it's going to do, like, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> and this bike, these are bikes that we got on the website. Mm -hmm. And I don't, like, pretend to be something I'm not. I'm not happy about doing this. They're just conversion bikes. But, hey, you know, like, I didn't plan to get into this. Well, and it's an extra wide bottom bracket here that you've, and you've kind of adapted you know, like, it to the fat bike. Those are our kits basically, and it's on, you know, it's got our bag that we designed. Yep. And um, it fits just right though. It looks really yeah. nice. And it's a basically just. Is this for water bottle? Like right here, yeah. you can put a little, yeah, yeah you know, but I'm always. Dude, we're selling this thing for, I think, 2,800 bucks with a BBS HD 1000. Like, nice. Like, that's cheap. Gee whiz. It is, it is. This, it is. is like, this is my pride and joy right now. Okay. And this is, you gotta ride this thing. It's got an Alpine 8 in the back. Yep. It's got a BBS 02 up front. Right, it's got our 14 and a half amp hour GA cell pack in the front in there, and mm -hmm. it's a cruiser. And we're selling this thing for 1,800 bucks. Nice. And like, dude, to me that's just like mind blowing. It right. looks really nice I mean, and look, comfortable. The weight's here. Good weight distribution. Yeah, and you know, basically these are conversion bikes. Eventually, we're gonna make our own bikes, you know. But uh, you know, we got a really good deal from a local supplier, and they love us. You know, because we don't give them any trouble. We go and pick up the bikes ourselves, and we mm -hmm. made a great deal with them. Yeah. And, you know, we just started selling bikes a month ago. Some nice ago, parts. And um, 
I think we're doing a great job of it. Can I ask a question? This yeah. is not a, specifically about that bike, but the Alphine 8. I've used those internally geared hubs, and I, I like to say, like, oh, you can shift it at standstill, but they don't always shift right away. It's almost like I had to pedal a little bit, or maybe they just weren't tuned up right. Yeah, well, you know, th with this bike, we it comes with the gear sensor, and okay. it's designed for the... So it, it lets off a little bit It for automatically shifting? does. That's yeah. awesome. And, it, and we sell it with that. You know, okay. and uh, so this bike I, I think is a, a really tight bike and it's the first bike I feel proud enough that we put our name on it, that we call this the Luna, the Luna SF or whatever, because I think it's that awesome. Awesome. And, you know, and it's got, you know, I love the Alpha N8s. So, I mean, all my bikes have internal gear hubs. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, have, I own two or three roll-offs. Oh and, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And they go from about. bike to bike. This bike, <laughs> this bike here. Oh, you got the chain ring. Yeah, and we haven't I'm had time to, to put up on our website. We're totally capable of making that bike. Full suspension. Full suspension. Look at that. Yeah, that. And so see what we were looking at earlier. Like it brings the chain ring like a little bit in, so that it aligns better, maybe with the rear. Well, that chain set. ring doesn't have any offset. That one it doesn't do any of that. Well, um, it, it looks like it's. That one's just small. Like that's a low gearing chain ring. It's okay. Great for off road bikes. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's they're definitely, they're what's this experience. one rated at? Because you have the that's high a power thousand, That's a thousand, BBSHT 1000, which is rated for a, a, a thousand watts. Yeah. But we, uh, uh, you know, when we put them on bikes, we ship them out at 750 watts and mm -hmm. they can, you know, hack the programming pretty easy and make it 1600 watts easy. Wow. And, you know, at 1600 watts, that game, all these bikes are game changers. Yeah. But that's for off-road only. Correct, right? That's the... This is the disclaimer. What what's on this one, man? Can I ask of the SF? Like, what's this is a little smaller motor? It looks uh, like that's the 750 watt. That's Perfect. The BBSO2. That's so the that's BBSO2 the, 750. So that's a safe and sane mode. And you know what? Like, I, I have a lot of common sense on this stuff. I don't offer this bike on a BBS with a with a high power kit mm -hmm. just because it has caliper brakes. Oh yeah. And if we're using like caliber brakes on this, like high end caliber brakes, this bike can do 50 miles an hour, no problem. You actually have really good stopping power, depending. Yeah. Sometimes there's even hydraulic. But, you need, but the powers. brakes on this thing, the, the component system on this bike's a thousand bucks. So, you know, like it's different components. It's what's on this cheap thing. Do you here. have any idea where this is going to cost? No pressure. I'm just um, curious. It's going to be about $3,000. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Just look. I mean, it won't probably won't have this component. This is the, the 105. But, you know, I was pissed when I found out how much this stuff cost. Like, yeah. You know, I got mad at my poor friend. I said, I have to sell this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, if this chain was a hundred bucks. I'm like, dude, I can't like sell something when it has a chain on it that's a hundred bucks. But if you put that chain on it, guaranteed you're never going to snap a chain. And this is a mid-drive. This, this one's going to be powered by a motor in here. We are going to make... Because I see the double chain ring that's like we were showing earlier. And we're going to have the motor mounted in here. This is coming. Like, I, it's just our guys are so busy. But I plan to have this bike built like this week. I want to come check we're it out eventually. We're trying to keep eventually. up with it. Like, yeah. You know, like, like, well, like, inner bike is next week. Yeah, man, we're so busy. Nonstop. Like we're, we're working so hard to make all this happen. Thanks and for taking like, a few minutes to give me the tour. Hey, baby, come on out. And, okay. And then, um, oh, I want to show you our, our sales that I was talking about. So this is, uh, these are DA sales right here. And we're new to selling bikes. And we got the capacity to make our own packs, so why not like make packs custom fit for the frame? Oh yeah. And, and I feel lazy just putting sharks on them, but this is the GA, the Panasonic GA cell. GA? GA, and it's the, it started as a Sanyo GA, and I guess Panasonic bought Sanyo. Yeah. Huh. And in my mind, this is the best value, performance, power density cell available. And what I'm always doing when we're buying cells, because we buy cells, <laughs> Um, and uh, we get to see what's the best value right now mm -hmm. and depending on the value per amp hour per you know what the power that we need the amps that they put out yeah we, we're basically steering everything like we can say okay this this year GAs are hot yeah. next year whatever we can get cheap is hot at one point what's the cell that we were selling that became really expensive MCRVs? no not MCRVs. it was the 30Qs HG, yeah 30 Qs oh, and HG2s HG Huh. We were making HG2s packs for a while, and we kind of made the HG2s hot inside the vape business. Cool. And all of a sudden, the HG2 just skyrocketed, yeah. and there were a lot of clones around. I seem to have that kind of influence. It's a, it's evolving, it's dynamic, and you're probably one of the fastest moving well, we, outfits I know of. Yeah, like I, I don't know, like in vape, we had a, I think we had a pretty big influence as well. Like that, we like uh, I said, I wrote a famous article that said friends don't let their friends 
uh, went on Sony phonies and uh, rewrapped Chinese brand uh, cells. And and at the time, the most uh, the most uh, uh, bought cell on eBay and Amazon was a Sony BTC5, hmm. which everybody in the industry knows is a is a fake. Oh, and it's a rewrapped fake. And that's that's yeah. too bad. There's and probably so, a lot of that kind of stuff. This happening. is Ashley. Hey, She's Ashley. My Yay. And, yeah. And these are our guys. And Josh. Wait, is there uh, Josh? This is the guy over here. You were. Yeah. So they, hey. he, this is our video guy. He has much better voice. Cool. Than <laughs> uh, you know, you do, do the best hey, with what you got, I right? Like you your voice on video. Yeah. Dude, now look at that guy. See how smooth he is? We're kind of similar. Just, look at us, right? Yeah, You're guys, taller than me. Look at this. Right? Hey. We're both <laughs> white dudes with yeah. like. I'm nice. You got good jaw structure here. I like the good choice, right? Uh, dude, he's a hell of a rider <laughs> yeah. too. Really? Oh my god, dude. The guy can ride. Awesome. He's, a, he's an amazing guy. And this is our other Josh. We call oh, so we got two Josh. Is that the policy to be hired yeah, here? You gotta be named Josh? What's yeah. up, man? And look, he's researching battery packs. Whoa. He's photoshopping, you know? Got a lot going on here. You know, and, and we'll put them in CAD and we'll like, you know, like we'll figure out like the shapes and, you know, uh, Oh, and here, oh, I, I was gonna show you that later. And then, um, oh, here, let me show you. <laughs> uh, there's so much stuff, what do you think? Um, oh, up there is just like bikes ready to be built. Like, this oh, offer at these prices, we have to, we get, you know, I feel like, you know, we need, part of it is buying, mm -hmm. too. And, um, you know, for people who think it's easy, and they're saying, oh, this guy, he just owns electricbike.com, and it's easy. Like, everything we do is hard, and mm -hmm. we, we do it, and I think we do it well. And it's like from the buying to the making the contacts with everybody. And, and we just got into the bike game because I want to learn it and I want to start selling bikes just to get a feel for it. And we're learning it fast. Mm -hmm. We're learning that, you know, the more bikes you buy, the better price you get. Surprise. Yeah. So, right, right. And then you you're know, like lower. So you're going for volume in and some sense. We're going sense. for like, we're selling a bike right now on our website for $3,400 for a full blown electric bike with a 17 amp hour battery. And the, bat and the bike itself retails for $3,000. Whoa. And the way we do that is that, you know, we buy last year's models and yeah. we buy them up. And, you know, we could buy straight from China the bikes. And I'm going to be at Interbike trying to find companies that will do that for us. Yeah, I'm going to look for you and, there. You know, they like it when you buy a lot of bikes. So we buy a lot of bikes and then we have to sit on money a lot. Yeah. And we build them as fast as we can build them and just get them out of here. And if we bought a lot of bikes and... And I like that, them. by the way. That's our, our four design. wheels with like a recumbent we own sort all of the, all the all the tooling to this. This is actually the very beginning. Fat of tires, kind of. Very the very beginning of Luna cycles, right here. This was the frame I was supposed to build. Uh huh. And one of those big boxes there, you'll see the mounting quad, and it's got all the tooling. Oh yeah. And this frame was hand built in Sonoma, and we had a big plan. Wow. And. It, and suspension. And yes. I said, you know what? We're going to build this bike first to get ready for that bike. Because okay. this bike will be easy. And this bike ended up almost driving me bankrupt and taking Amazing. three years out of my life to get that, to get it into a working bike. Gee whiz. And it ended up being a lot harder to build an electric bike than I thought. Okay. And, yeah. What other, do you have any other, I, like, I briefly. So this, is, this is my first bike. This is your first bike. And this is what I'm trying to bring to market. And. Yeah, this is this is a good story for you. Let me tell you this story. Yeah, I mean, I don't get. There's so many things to talk okay, about. Let me tell so you about this, this is great. This is it. This is the key. I spent so much time and money that I almost went bankrupt on this bike, mm. right? And the and the story goes like this. Yeah. Is that we had the frame made, right? We had this made. This is all our design. You can see like all the welding, the jigs. I I paid all the money, got all the tooling made, got the bikes made, you know. And I have this amazing bike, and all I need is the parts. Yeah. And I'm this. You'll see me get mad about it. I need Mac motors. Yeah. This has got Mac motor in the front, Mac motor in the back. Oh, two wheel drive. I need a battery. You know, I get, it's got a 20 amp hour battery pack. You know, um, it's this, like that big brick we were looking at. Yeah, and you you want to hear? This is where I start to get mad. So I bought like 10 cells, from, 10 packs from All Cell. Okay. Right. And I had their pack in my bike, and the cell su the pack sucked. I mean, uh. to be honest. Like it didn't put out real power. It had like Chinese cells in it. And they gave me a deal on those first 10 packs yeah. and I built the bike around it. Okay. Like, oh, great, I can buy that 20 amp hour pack for 700 bucks, right? Right. And I can, I can build my bike around that. So I made a deal with them. It, I was at an inner bike actually. And they, and they said they're gonna sell me packs and I made this bike, right? And it was made around that pack. This box here 
holds that pack. Hmm. And you can see this is my all-cell pack. And it, <laughs> hey, so anyways, the packs would go bad because you know we ran them really hard on this bike. This bike it uh, puts out you know five or six thousand watts max. Wow. And um, and uh, 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 all cell of course like they weren't too good about the warranty and I'm like and I'm I'm shopping around. Oh, and when I wanted to buy more packs, they said that was a one time deal. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> what they jack up the price? Yeah, or? they jack up the price. And then like I go, dude, all I need is the battery pack, but it's not more than the battery pack. You need the brakes. You need the the parts and every single part from the disc like to the everything was expensive yeah and i'm like dude it's different you know you're building this bike and this bike i literally wow. got about six thousand dollars into this i'm not mm -hmm. kidding i'm not exaggerating yeah that's and a like, lot and i'm like dude like like what happened to do it yourself yeah like you're supposed to ride your bike and you're supposed to be proud that oh, i only spent this much money on it yeah but these parts were costing me so much money that you know like i buy a rotor it's like 60 bucks and i got pissed and like the motors, I couldn't get a good deal on Mac Motors. And I'm like, come on, man, give me a deal. I'm, I'm the editor of electricbike.com. Yeah, yeah. And these guys like, you know, want to give me any kind of good pricing or markdown. Mm. So you know what? I said, you know what? Like, I need the parts to build my bike. And as I started to get more and more into it, I go, it's not, it's too risky for me to just bring the parts for this bike. So I got into the parts business. Cool. And this bike is the beginning of it. And basically to get to this level, to where we're ready to sell this bike. And now finally, we got every single part here to sell this bike. Awesome. The last parts are on the way. What are they? A whole container of them. Alexa rims. Alexa rims. Oh, nice. The only part we're missing. Dude, I'm trying to buy rims right now. Like quality bike parts won't sell to me. It's like they're, they're putting me through hell. Like I, I put in it, we had to add them to our insurance policy. Like I cannot get a decent price on rims. We go on Amazon and it's like the one last part. And when you're trying to sell something to, to the public at right. an affordable price, these wheels cost me 200 bucks each for the tires. There's a, that's a, why, yeah, why man, so much? It, dude, it was stupid. Like the, everything was expensive. And huh. one piece by piece from the rims to the tires, right? To the motors, right? To everything we brought, every well, part tell me, What's the deal in. with the frame? I mean, it, it looks very the custom. It's cheap, man. It, Did it, you like, make it? Or I made it? it. I made it. It's our frame. We designed it in AutoCAD and we made it. But I'm saying is why yeah. the only reason why this bike is not to market is not because of the hard part, which was the frame. Yeah. It's because of the parts. Yeah. And in our country, it's so hard. And I said, other people are having this problem too. Yeah. And you know what? For two years, I sold to other bike builders and I still do other small bike builders right. like myself and there's a lot of small companies that buy their battery packs from us and that's and cool we, you do so you are open to that, working with other people we've you been like, doing that for two no no for sure like there's a lot i don't want to mention their names but there's a lot of high profile dealers who buy all their kits all their batteries from us huh. and we and we support them 100 percent. that's cool and it, a lot of times you know like like you, we feel like all the dealers are coming down on us but there's some people who couldn't do it without us yeah. and we did and we did lower the price standard too because now everybody you know like you know the, uh, 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 we did lower the expectancy on what you're supposed to pay for a pack mm -hmm. I don't think anybody pay a thousand dollars for an all-sell pack these days you know what I mean yeah and it's like and you know what I still got those all-sell packs I still have some of them yeah. we can't sell them <laughs> Oh, we got the cops bike. We put it on the cops bike. You want to do it? Yeah, oh, yeah show yeah, me right. that. So we put the our also pack on the cops bike, right? It's the only way we could get rid of it. So the cop went and riding it, and a freaking bike came back. Oh <laughs> no! The battery's bad, so we got to put one of our good batteries on. So it. this, some police were like, "Hey, we need some, we yeah, need some bikes, here's and the you build some." Bike right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and it's got like. You okay. We did, like, we did this bike kind of for free. Cause he's a cop and he promised me one get out of jail card free. Oh, hey, there we go. No, not really. Yeah, you paid us something for it, but you okay, coming. Ashley? I think, I think it's coming out. It's coming slowly. We got the whole team here. Hey, these fingers are precious. We have to be careful. No punch fingers. I see some some compete competitors. Is this consumer research going on uh, back no, here? No, not, real, not at all. Not or just all. you like the bike? Well, I, I love Saunders bikes, I think they're awesome, but we do conversion parts for it. Oh, that's so, right. On Luna. I've yeah. seen them. Yeah, so, you have yeah, some really so, great parts. Yeah, so we have the bike around and we go on, to, you know, when we go show up at the Saunders rides, mm -hmm. out of respect, we don't be like assholes and show up on, <laughs> okay, our bikes are better and faster and try to sell our stuff. Mm -hmm. We show up 
on Saunders bikes, and I really, I'm one of the few industry people yeah. who really appreciate what this Embraced it, yeah. You know, and you know, like, I, I, I really appreciate yeah, it. And it, you know, it's a, you know, people say- Take, take my hand. <laughs> there you go, you're welcome, you know, sorry. There's, there's so many, this got more butts on bikes than- That's any, true, a lot of awareness. Lot and of awareness. I like, you know, like, I knew it right away. Like, it's one of the reasons why I got into business when I did. It's like, dude, there's gonna be all those people buying those like slow bikes. They're gonna want upgrades. Yep. You know, and it, I, it's one of the things that was exactly. Unfortunately, the one, you know, I've, I've reviewed these and stuff. The one thing you can't upgrade too easily is adding other gears. And Well, you know what? You know, it's one of the things I really like about this bike. When I review, my review is probably different than your review. Yeah, it's a great, yeah. But um, I don't think an electric bike needs gears. To well, me, you do have more, a motor. To me, it's more important that you have pedal cadency in the higher speeds. Ah, uh, yeah, that so makes if, sense. I'll do my little Saunders review. I don't know if I ever did it on video, but uh, I like that they used a, a gear combination that gives you a really high gear to where you can pedal this thing at top you speed. You can do the 20 mile and per I've hour seen, thing. I've ridden Pedagos and Prodigos or whatever, and they never had that figured out. Mm. And to me, having that high gear, if you look at my bike, you know, I had to source chain rings with 52 gear sprockets up front. That's why you have that whole wall of chain rings. That's probably to dial it yeah, in like, for each different you know, bike. Like, like to me, like I, in my definition of an electric bike, like most bikes, like if you look at this bike, these pedal bikes, they're designed to be pedaled at 12 miles an hour. Well, is this a single, is this like a beach yeah, cruiser? Yeah, like single speed. Oh, but it's the got thing a few. Is, is most, you know, single speed sprockets aren't very large, but you know, for an electric bike, you want that sprocket. It's big. because they're so heavy and starting out is no fun, but when you've got a throttle, then it's yeah, not a problem. Yeah, like, you know, like I don't, I, you know, the, even the Saunders bike, there's not any time I wish I could pedal. Like, okay. like I mean, that I, I wish I had gears. You know what I mean? You're able to get going. Yeah. And once you're going, you pedal assist. You're it's fine. It's easy as that. It makes like, sense. You know, like if your battery dies, you wish, and you live in San Francisco, you wish you had gears. But I remember having arguments with guys like Curry, uh, the president of Curry. And, you know, I was just a reporter then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what is this $5,000 electric bike have 27 speeds? She was there with me during the interview. <laughs> when I interviewed them and I go, dude, that's stupid. Like, I just think it's the stupidest thing for a, a electric bike to have 27 speeds. And he's talking about torque sensors and oh, sure. pedal cadence. And I'm just like, dude, it's just so different than what I believe. And as, an, uh, and as a reporter, I don't think I was impacting it enough. And now I think as a seller, people are really paying attention because I think a lot of our ideas are right. Yeah. And you know, like we're not interested in having more than five speeds or six speeds on our bikes. Yeah. You know, and you'll see that. Like if, you know, like I think the perfect combination is a three speed on an electric bike. And if I, you know, like, and, it, and an, I like internal gear hubs. You had that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The eight speed internally geared Alphine is pretty. Much. I think three speeds. I don't even like that one. And my bikes, I'd go with the three speed over an A speed. And the three speed's cheaper and less complicated. Right. And it, you know, it'll take more power. So it all makes more sense to me, you know? And it, now, like I get to do those ideas. Yeah. I used to just give people unsolicited advice when mm -hmm. I met all these companies. Yeah. Like, I, especially when I go to e-bike shops. Oh dude, you gotta sell this bike, it's so cool. Like, I think like this bike, you know, like I have my favorites. I've and, had a little bit of that, honestly, yeah. yeah when like I go to I shops, I'm like, really... oh man, if you did this and that, like yeah, you could get like, just. so stuck on their own ideas. I'm so happy for you, man. Yeah. Being able to like have your own company, dude, do what you, you wanna do and instead working of, with instead people. Instead of like, you know, I really wanna have an impact on electric bikes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, like in, as a reporter and I felt it at an inner bike, I don't know if you feel it. I think I was an inner bike one time and you were there and there was like, this crowd around court <laughs> and then there was me and then everybody's like oh, oh. Eric, he's just kind of like the black sheep maybe they didn't know i mean because yeah, i'll write the negative about this stuff and then i took a lot of heat and i felt like mm -hmm. nobody in the e-bike world like kind of liked me because i'd write it for how i saw it and well. i go you know what i got it. if you got so many of your ideas then you should start your own e-bike company at some yeah. point i got so mad that it wasn't going <laughs> away not the not the actually not what you covered, the production bikes. Yeah. I thought the production bikes were doing awesome. Mm -hmm. Like I thought, I was at an Interbike last year, I was fully impressed with how it's coming along. Yeah. And what got me, and I, got, I mean, I have to keep myself from getting mad, but I'm like, <laughs> dude, like I can no longer recommend do it yourself. Like mm -hmm. do it yourself stuff stayed the same. Yeah. And if anything, it got more expensive. Mm -hmm. And the main dealers are selling the same stuff. They're not changing. Where's all the excitement? Yeah. Like where's all the innovation? Where's like the lower pricing? And, it, and, and in the meantime, production bikes are getting cheaper and cheaper. The Saunders bike came out for under a thousand. Yeah. And then there's all these bikes for under a thousand. 
you know, the new juice strider is under a thousand. Yeah, the cr- well, and yeah, I, I'm a like, couple. dude, it's like you know, the do-it-yourself community, the the uh, the the industry itself is just being passed. And mm. the, the sad part was, it's not just they're buying production bikes; they're buying their kits and they're buying their batteries from eBay oh, yeah. and like from Alibaba. We talked about the rewrapped batteries and you know, yeah. it's nice to know that, okay, this source can be trusted yeah, or this you, is a person you, who knows their stuff. You can trust us. Yeah. You can trust us because we know what we're up against. Are you taking me on a sky ride? Yeah, is that I'm, why we're walking this? No, I'm I want to see the scooter. Amazing. I want to see, just keep yeah, going, keep going, amazing. man. Okay, so here, check this out. Like we think big and like we're all into like engineering, right? Yeah. And it's like, look at this. You kind of get a, a gist of what's going on. Yeah. Right? And it, you know, I was watching one of your videos the other day. LED lights. And it's like, and I'm like, and I'm like, there's a little barren here. Because, <laughs> but we got like a shipment coming in, big shipment coming in. We really do got like a buffet container on the water coming in. Oh my here. gosh. Yeah. Well, you're in but, LA, so if you're close yeah, to the so port got, at least. It's, it's actually here, and it's like going, we got a whole container. Yeah. But we also got, oh, let me see if this works. Oh boy. Oh man. Cool. And look, it's like getting a little barren. Like we're running out. Yeah. And What's in are, all this? These kits? These Bafang these motors? All, dude, this is Bafang motors. This is our kits. And, and, and it's pretty amazing. It is. That yeah. is, that's kind of a cool envy. If you want to know how we can sell so cheap, this is the largest. I don't think Bafang has this large of a supply. Oh my gosh. And if you go like, this way. Let's okay. see. Like making it out. Oh, they've got more on the other side. It's full. You custom built this, right? Yeah. I mean, clearly. Man, yeah, we didn't buy it at, at Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked. Dang it. I yeah. need to get my CNC. And anyway, so. And then, let me think. And, um, uh, we made those letters. I like that. Yeah, they kind of match the... Yeah, the... and so here. And like, come up to my office. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Don't want to drop batteries. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. You can take a minute if you need. <laughs> it's fine. No, that's bad. Hey, so come on up here. Okay. And I'm allowed to do this because I'm the owner. Right? I can make my office as dangerous as I want to make it. Am I going to live through this? Yeah. And this is my office. That's and awesome. I'm really proud of it, and I wish I had more time to put into it. I got the shag carpet up here. Yeah. I love this stuff, and, man. This is yeah. your meeting room? Or are we going to have a serious talk right now? You know, like just a couple of days ago, Mac was here, and he brought me this amazing tea. And we like kicked back here and had tea up here. Huh. And one of those cool boxes again. Yeah, and we, my original Does it slide idea like, out or something? Yeah, like. I, you don't want you to break it. Take your time. Like, don't, don't. Hey. Oh, thanks, man. All what right. What is that? It's, it's our new con- the fan controller. And then check this out. That's the, uh, our Chinese tea. Sweet. And yeah, hey, if you're going to do business with these guys, you got to know how to have tea with them. Have the tea, yeah. And you know, like, they, they're, you know, like, I learned a lot about the Chinese. I spent a lot of time over there. And, you know, that's part of this whole game. Because, you know, to say that we don't buy from China would be, like, a major lie. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And they own the e-bike industry. Mm. You know what I mean? This is their game. Yeah. You know, like, you go over there and they don't care about America because they sell so many kids there. Yeah. Like, they don't care about our needs. We get a lot later than even Europe. They have so, they're so progressed. They have their scooters and their bikes everywhere. And they have a nice way. I like a nice way about them. You know, like, you know, like... You know, my, uh, 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 they work really hard. They all want to buy cars. Uh-huh. And my joke is in 10 years, they're all going to be driving in cars and we're, we're all going to be, be on e-bikes. On bikes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes like, sense. And you know, like, like, like I really see like, like the, the kind of tables is turning and it, they're pretty awesome, man. I like them. Like, I like, I like the way they think and the way they, you know, and getting to know their customs. Yeah. And this is part of this. I have a Chinese wife. Well, yeah, and she speaks the language, right? So you got no, a little... her family does, and her family's there. So we, we have that connection. So we could we could go there any time and, you know... Oh, and, I just and, made the assumption we were out to dinner the other night. Just, do either of you speak any other languages? Uh, no. HTML, no. JavaScript, yeah, any yeah, of that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no, foreign language is my weakness, dude. <laughs> 
I get like I'm really bad at foreign language. You know? I'm I'm trying to learn Spanish because my girlfriend's Mexican, so yeah. she speaks That's it. That's a good one to learn. You know, it's kind of yeah. handy, but and some of the stuff is being made in Mexico or at least assembled down there now with some cars. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think China's where it's happening. Hey, but you want to take a ride? Yeah, let's do some stuff. Okay, so watch this. So this thing. Is this the controller? Yeah. Here we go. Is this electric? <laughs> oh no! It's this is straight up gas power. Man, we're close, man. We are really close. Do you want to do the one outside? Uh, I got skill. I got driving skills. You got driving skills. Yeah, driving skills. That was a day that the wall of lithium batteries collapsed in the factory. We're making good progress, dude. You're good. Thanks. Sweet. Oh my gosh, can we get out this? This doesn't look like it's gonna work, man. Oh, man, it's like a Disneyland ride, right? It, it is, like it's I'm like, on the... It's like you're on the Indiana Jones. <laughs> Oh boy, that, that's why I parked there and not here, so we could do this. Glorious. Hey, look, it's a nice day at sunset, it's the best time to go up. It really is. We Are we clear? Okay, good. I should really be wearing my helmet. Why didn't I bring my helmet? Wow. You start to get the feeling like I'm pretty high, pretty high up. <laughs> Dang, man. Do you have to worry about uh, gusts of wind? Where we, test, where we test ride our bikes. Uh, on the roof up there? Yeah. What? Hell yeah, man. We can't be riding those expensive bikes in this neighborhood. Oh my gosh. We're like really high up. Man, it's beautiful up here. Beautiful. Yeah, and so this is... I'm in the hot seat now. Now. Whoa. <laughs> and it's nice, and it's that. quiet up here. You can think. Yeah, and I have a little umbrellas that I put up when it's not windy. Wow. And, you know, my, this is my idea of an office, man. And I don't need a permit for it because it's on wheels. You can just store it in the garage you if know, you need you to. Can, you could crash here on our couch anytime and come up, <laughs> up high and Safety. see the sky. And it's a little bit dangerous and crazy. I like it, you know, because in my mind, like everything cool is a little dangerous, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like one of my life mottos is every day you should learn something and every day you should do something that scares you. Yeah. You know? This and, qualifies for me. And, you man. know, it's a little shaky. Like, yeah. And, you know, the first few Flexes times. Flexes with like, the wind a little bit. Yeah. It's like a, kind of a trust thing to come up here. Yeah. You know, like, Thank you for taking like me. me. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. And it's like, you know, like we're kind of test pilots right now. Yeah. You know, like we're, we're up here doing something. I don't think anybody's ever used one of these as an office. Yeah. Know? No, I think you're leading the way for sure. Yeah, but to me, it's like, you know, you know, yeah, like I want to get in the, in the high office business, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Like I, I really like this. And we're going to take these home. We got two of them. And we're going to take them home for Christmas and Halloween. All right. We're going to have like big ass display. and stretch it all the way across our house oh man yeah I, yeah I wish i you know this is a bit of a last minute visit but yeah coming to the house well, sometime would be cool th th this one goes up 30 feet and that one goes up 50 feet whoa that one's insane oh my gosh and my guys get scared like we come up here we'll do a barbecue they get scared yeah well, you know like, it's kind of cool like i think I it like, you know this is not a perspective that you often get and really i think it's a cool analogy because you have a different perspective in the industry it's neat to see everything up close and just pretty transparent. You're showing me all the batteries and bikes and yeah, your vision. It's, it's neat. I'm not going to say like it's comfortable doing it. Like it's scary. You know, you don't know like, it's, uh, you know, we just started selling bikes last month mm -hmm. and you don't want to be someone who sells a bike that somebody gets hurt on. Yeah. And you know, as much as I want to sell a 50 mile an hour bike and we could if we wanted to, you know, like, you know, you know, it's scary, you know, like, like I don't want to be the one that gets somebody hurt or, you know, yeah. Somebody gets even gets hurt on one of our and I, I'm starting to feel, you know, the liability parts and the the uh, how dangerous it is. They're not risky. It is to sell this stuff. Yeah. You know, and you know, people have warned me that you know, you got to take it more serious. You got to charge more money. Yeah. You know, and it, you know, like there's a lot to think about, and I can't say that you know it's not scary. You know, like, 
and uh, you know like there's a lot you know you know there's a lot of this business that i don't understand probably that you know you're trying and, though and you're they, working you and we team. have to be more responsible and you know you know my our bikes that we ride do really fast but we have to decide it you know how fast do we want to make our bikes yeah. we do have the capacity to make our bikes fast you know like we really do and, and, and we don't and uh and we don't know if we're ready to like unleash that yeah you know not just on the people but on the industry because once we start selling fast bikes you know people are gonna have to keep up where does it go yeah you know, and and i think that i think i'm showing a lot of perseverance we've had like a, you know a controller that we could do any time mm -hmm. that uh it, that uh, we can run uh, 50 amps to the buffet yeah and everybody knows we have it there uh there's been a few reviewers who've been testing it. Cool. And they won't. I won't let them write about it yet. <laughs> oh, cool. But uh, we could we could unleash it any time. And I'm really starting to use a lot of, you know, like like do I really want to do this? Yeah. And also our prices. Like I've actually, you know, listened to people and not gone as low as I normally would have gone or how low we were right in the beginning with our prices. Right. You know because. I do feel like everybody needs to make their money. Yeah. And not everybody can buy in the quantities we buy. I'm and trying to make it sustainable. And yeah, yeah it's and your I, I, I'm really bigger vision. I, I, I mean, on our e-bike page, I say, hey, if you have an e-bike dealer close to you, go buy it from them. That's nice. You yeah. know, because, you know, there's something they offer that we can't, which is, you know, a warranty that they can support. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're a mail order business. And if you can't buy it any other way, we're a great person to buy from. Yeah. But, you know, like, 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 uh, I do want to see everybody succeed yeah. and I want to see this whole business like grow and everybody should prosper. Like, and I don't want to be the ones who are just like the bad guy. And lately people have been saying that Luna Cycles is like, like Sam Walton and like Donald Trump and all this <laughs> stuff. And I go, where the hell did that come from? We're new. And in my mind, we're the small guys. Like yeah. we're, you know, we're really small in my mind. And and suddenly we became these bad guys, and it really started making me think. But uh, uh, you know that, and I think we've shown some restraint and mm -hmm. not like unleashing the stuff as fast as we could unleash it. You yeah. know what I mean? And it, um, you know, uh, especially when it comes to the high speed stuff. Like you know, we could sell a, a 60 mile an hour stealth like bike that doesn't cost us very much to build mm -hmm. and you know but you know like there's already a lot of people selling those yeah. and the other thing is we've steered away from other people's business models mm -hmm. like you know not selling Mac motors or not selling um, big heavy hub motors or you know a lot of a lot of things that we feel somebody else is doing a good job in this country of doing we still we'll stay free of those products because we see so much area of innovation opportunity but there, yeah. there's no reason to innovate in this area when we can just innovate in this brand new area that nobody's doing yet yeah and and to me that's what 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 I, I think really makes us special is that me and my guys and Ashley stands behind me mm -hmm. I'm willing to take risk yeah. and do stuff like we're gonna make a friction drive like who the hell is making a friction drive we're gonna make a friction <laughs> drive you know what I mean and I'm willing to take risk like that or you know we're coming to market with a full carbon fiber bike that's that is outrageous. so cool yeah. I love that thing on the wall yeah. and so I we've been talking for so long here the batteries on the camera are starting to go down yeah I, this is a beautiful place to end our talk. I do want to review this stuff or, you know, we'll be in touch. There's that kick scooter. Is there anything else back there you want to show or, you know, and call out some good sites, man. I'm in the industry too, trying to help and support. Are there any well, other good sites to read you, stuff or get kidding? stuff like, that you yeah, like? Yeah, Endosphere is like a god, like they're amazing. And mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 Carl's electric bike blog, um, everybody says that we're attached. We're just friends. Is that you know? the fat bike one? Yeah, he's awesome. Like he, he's, you know, he's awesome. Your site is awesome. Electric bike review is awesome. Like especially for production bike stuff. And, yeah. And um, thanks. I mean, I think the resources everybody knows at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, like like there's some really good resources out there, and some good up and coming ones. And I, I think it's a really exciting time for e-bikes. And I yeah, think me guys too. like. You, uh, you know, like I feel an affinity to you because I know how important it is that somebody like you exist to, you know, to review these things and to like tell people which way to go because I think there's a lot of deception around and yeah. somebody needs to like kind of light the way. Well, I do my best. I appreciate your comments. Like you yeah. recently chimed in on the forums and you're welcome. I mean, I try, what I try to do is 
I mean, I'm getting talked to by big companies who are like, here's what we're doing, here's our heritage. And I'm like, okay. And then I, I say what I see as best I can, but I don't own these bikes. I'm not actually using them long term. And so that's why my comments are open. You don't have to sign in, you don't have to register. I'm syncing with YouTube comments. I'm like, I put in a ton of money and work just like you. In a sense, I'm taking a risk. This is my full time job, you I know, anytime it, you do I it. it. And I, I feel you, and I was doing it, and I missed that. Like, I really can't, like, write about electric bikes anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're doing it. You're no, making I mean, it. I just, it just nobody, it's just not fair for me to write. I'd love to write about all the stuff I've learned since I've jumped into this industry, but it's just not fair now that I'm in the industry to really write about it like I used to. Yeah. And I know that, you know, I'm jaded and it's going to come off as I'm just trying to, like, but, but I think that uh, 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 it's one thing I really miss. Mm -hmm. Like I, I really love riding about electric bikes and um, riding bikes. I miss riding bikes. And that's <laughs> one of the things we've lost by doing this business. We're stuck here in LA. You're doing work, you're in. We're, you know, my house yeah. is in San Francisco. We're living here, it sucks. And uh, but I feel it's our sacrifice to the community. Mm -hmm. And you know, you always miss what you had. Or you yeah, always you appreciate it more. You know? I love doing this. I love being in the business, but I miss riding as well. Like I really do, I, I really say, I really, want to write about some of this stuff but at some point like I was running out of stuff to write about there wasn't anything really exciting anymore yeah. to write about that I felt like it's all like kind of getting like redundant and you know the improvements weren't happening fast enough and now I think it's really fascinating and you know there's just a lot of stuff happening right now and being in the, in the, in the industry it's it's a whole new take and yeah. I feel like it's like a um, like a, 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 a really great really great opportunity like to see the industry from the, from this end, and I'm, I'm so glad like to be here. You know, like like to go to Interbike tomorrow. Yeah, as a, <laughs> literally. As a, as a dealer, you know, I mean, it's crazy. You know, like like you know, I, I don't know what to expect or what people think of me, or you know, anything. But you know, for so long I was just writing about it, just like kind of a spectator, yeah. and um, now I feel like people are really gonna listen to me now. Like, or watch what yeah, I'm well, doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they are. As a writer, I think everyone's like, ah, that guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. But now I get to like, now I get to really like, preach the talk, kind of. Yeah, you know walk I mean? the talk or, you know, yeah, the whole thing, like, kind of make it happen. Like, hey, I think this'll sell and I get to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I think I think the world needs their own toolkit. You know, a, a special toolkit. Yeah, kit. that's so funny with all the things you got going on. Yeah. Uh, it's just neat to see that you've got the passion for all the little things. You know, and I, I'm still like, you know, the biggest thing is I'm in search. I'm still in search for that perfect bike. Like, yeah. Like and when I was in your shoes, kind of the beginning of Electric Bike Review, I felt the same kind of thing. That's when we first got in touch when yeah. I read your first, your introductory post. Well, that was me. Like, I've been chasing this whole time. Like trying to find that perfect bike, you know, like something really badass and fast and reliable mm -hmm. and not not too expensive. Well, and for each category, that's the awesome thing. Like you yeah. have that bike that we saw and it's that fat bike and it's super powerful two wheel drive. And then you have the other one that's SF. Does that stand for San Francisco? Stands for San Francisco. Yeah. And I, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's a different purpose. Yeah, but I want something really badass. <laughs> You're I mean, still I mean, like, like I'm really like it doesn't exist yet. Trust me. Yeah. But like I'm really trying to make roads like to get there and I think that I'm in a race I want to get there I want to build the best bike ever and I know there's a lot of other people who are doing it and mm -hmm. the good thing is whether they admit it or not like I'm making it more possible because batteries are definitely more affordable now yeah for sure. yeah taking you it down. I mean? and you need a badass battery to have a badass it's the bike. most expensive part of most bikes I mean, out there. you know people are selling battery packs for a thousand bucks it's like it's stupid you know what I mean like come on you can buy a Saunders battery with a Samsung battery on it for 600 bucks that's there's a good that point and sense. that's a custom does it's like a yeah. have you seen the new one on the thin that's yeah, kind of like like a wedge, oh, it's like a rectangle. Yeah, I wanted to make that battery. I look at it. Oh man, this one's hard to make. They did a good job. And somebody made that battery, uh, uh, an entrepreneur uh, uh, on the Sounders forums. And I'm really proud of her. Her name's Lindsay. Lindsay. And she made that Shout battery. Out. I can't believe it. She, you know, like she had somebody make it for her, obviously, but wow, that was a hard battery to make. Well, you got to promise me we can do another talk like this at, at least every year. And speaking yeah. of batteries, I'm seeing the beat. It's like flashing okay. and all right. Let's you go know. back down. Yeah, I appreciate the time. Bike, yeah, I do want to ride bike. I feel like I should charge, do some reviews. Maybe you can send me some too. I want to spend some time. Yeah, let's go ride before the sun goes down. Go for a ride. We all good? Gonna have to jump onto the roof and climb down. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's scary, yeah. Uh. 
It is. I used to be a rock climber, so I feel pretty oh. comfortable. Yeah. But it is nice. Hey, we can bungee jump off this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. We did it. it. Feels like Disneyland, huh? It really like those rides where you go really high and you know, kind of get the view. That's what I'm loving about this, man. Is that your car over there? Which one? That's uh, no. Maybe you ride your bike to work. You don't you live relatively close I live now? Close. Yeah, you got like your little your second place here I with the. I give up my life for this. You work so hard. Yeah, yeah the painting. Uh, yeah, I, you do work really hard. Like we're all we're texting and it's super late at night. And yeah, I'm just well, like, man. But you know, like I think I think we were really close, man. Like, like, like I really think we're making shit. Dude, we like you got to see the bikes. Should we? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut for now. We're gonna prep the bikes. That way, I have a little bit of battery left. Here we go. So, okay. <laughs> Wait, should, should, should I cut? <laughs> Don't show it. Okay, gone. The way that really I got into all this yeah. was with one of these and I was like a big poster on the Zappy groups and the Zappy groups is the, really the beginning of Endless Fear and I was on the Zappy groups making these <laughs> things do 40 miles per hour and riding about blasting through San Francisco with it. Oh and man. They would do like hill climbing races and people would come from all over and I would challenge the gasser guys to races and get everybody <laughs> worked up on the forums. <laughs> And that, that, you know, like that was Endless Fear. That was literally the beginning of Endless. And it went from like, oh, I love my Zappy scooter that does like 15 miles an hour to like this ethic that, hey, we can soup these things up to do 40. Nice. And it's literally how I got into this. I'll never forget the day. I was in San Francisco and I saw some guy come down a corner and make a right turn on this sick looking bad sea scooter made out of fiberglass made in the united states and i said oh my god i want one of those sweet and like a week later i ended up buying 30 of them and i was selling them and i started my store called green machines in san francisco green machines you told me about yeah, that yeah, yeah so really, you've done this before you've yeah, been a storefront I, I selling go pads and electric bikes and hmm. um pocket bikes like three thousand dollar pocket bikes and you know it was pretty not fun but it was really these that got me into everything and and always wanting them to go faster and you know like tonight like riding this like oh my god this is getting pretty close to what i wanted yeah like these are awesome they, you know? they really i've got a yeah um like they're smooth they're going over the grass at feeling like i had power and feeling like it was pretty comfortable you know i have like kind of sensitive knees and sometimes you're, you're kind of like you're feeling yeah. every crack that is not the case this is like much smoother and like you were saying there is this slower mode here so and, you know like you know. I am no, you know like you know like think about what i'm up against i think i can sell these i think they're the coolest things ever you know like we really worked hard to give them the performance that they have yeah right and and it took putting expensive batteries in them like really working with the company to put the controllers and the motor that we wanted. Yeah. And 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 now we have to convince everybody that, that it really does the performance <laughs> that everybody else just claims. Yeah. You know, and you know, like I've heard that before. Thirty miles an hour, that guy's does forty miles an hour on eBay. And you know, you buy one and it really does like twenty five. And then you don't have a company to go to. Like I like that you have the website, you have this long standing reputation. What how do you deal with warranty stuff or do you like I you mean, know, how like does that I, work? on the bikes I thought about it lately. It's like, you know, I can't sell bikes at the profit margin that I sell to to locals. Like if they're gonna buy and they're gonna come into our store every time they need their brake adjusted. Oh yeah. Like they already bug the, bug us all the time. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's like come on dude. Like we don't wanna get bogged down with that. So like how do I deal with that? So I said, you know what? I can still sell the price, bikes at an incredible price, and we'll just charge extra for the warranty. Yeah. You know, and it, you know, I think warranties for companies that aren't legitimate, like more than yeah. anything, for us, like people trust us and respect us. And I've taken care of so many people, like beyond <laughs> warranty, it's ridiculous. Nope. Like for a long time, I never told anybody no. It was actually my guys that told me we had to. Come on, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah. This thing has water damage. I mean, you know, these yeah. guys really do abuse this stuff, but. I'm so I was so sick of cool not getting any you know always not getting any kind of support like I know yeah. like warranties are kind of BS you just got to trust the company is going to take care of you if something's wrong well and if it's relatively affordable and you're getting a good value and you break it you can get the new version I, I and think, you pay yeah, for the new I version think, I think people trust us and they know that we're going to take care of them if something's really wrong with their kit we're gonna we're gonna fix it yeah you know what I mean and and so I kind of like you know it's kind of like a, a, a gray area 
It's like, you know, because we could do what everybody else does and just claim a warranty that there's no way we could support. Yeah. You know, and then just g give people a hard time when they try to bring something back. And that's just going to leave everybody feeling sour. We yeah. don't want to spend our time fighting with people. Yeah. You know I feel I mean? you. So it's like, you know, so I got a different take on it. Like, so like with our bikes, I decided, well, some people are going to need warranties. So we'll do like a parts replacement plan and they can pay extra for it. If any part yeah. goes bad, we'll, we'll repair it, including the battery and we'll repair it and replace it. But then we charge more money for it because how do you offer the lowest price? Like some people need a warranty, some people don't. Yeah. And it's like, you know, like in reality, you know, this stuff is pretty solid and it, you know. Well, so you said there was one thing on it that you're still working on. I, I've only ridden it a little bit. I don't know how heavy it is, but it it's looks light. pretty solid. Oh, it's perfect. What's the, uh, what's the thing that you're talking about? The like one bad thing. It's like, like the, it needs a better break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny you say that. Cause I, you know, yeah, I was pulling, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like I'm happy with the break. I think it's okay, but I know people are going to give us hell. What is that? Like a band break? Yeah, like, well, you know, like, like, you know, like I know what it is. We wanted a disc break in the front. Yeah. But the disc oh. break is so, you know, like, a disc brake can lock up and you can... And it can I felt up. myself like doing a little wheelie earlier. So you've got enough power to do that way. If you had a disc brake, you could maybe do the other okay, way. But it, what about a disc brake in the back? Is there room? Disc in the back. That would be... I think that would be good. I'd love to do a hydraulic disc brake on this thing. Like, a, you know, and that, that would really make it sick. Like, it, you know, like we got to sell this thing for real money, unfortunately. What's it, it going to cost, you think? I think like 1500 bucks. That's, you know, that's right. reasonable. And, and But, you know, like, and we don't make enough money at 1500 bucks, right? But uh, at 1500 bucks, it should have like a Magura hydraulic disc brake. That'd be like, sweet. It'd be a really nice touch. MT5 with like four four pistons. <laughs> <I bought, laughs> like ridiculous. I bought, I bought brake this, fluid everywhere. Dude, I bought this scooter from Germany and uh -huh. inner bike. I wish to God I would have kept it. Like I saw, it had, it was a four wheel kick scooter with hydraulic brakes on all four wheels. Wow. I'll never get that thing like german engineering and it was just a kick scooter and it has huh. suspension and stuff i think it was like two thousand bucks it was and it, it was awesome like we had it in our store in san francisco it was so beautiful hmm. like some things i just regret selling like lately i've been selling off a lot of my bikes oh and it kind of hurts and they're getting in the way making space, space for the new yeah. but yeah. like some bikes i just don't want to send out i'm like yeah. oh man we sold the titanium bike oh I'm shit can I try this again? I'm excited to. Did you cancel it? Yeah. Oh, good. So okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna follow y'all. There's like this. There's a little bit of a a dead zone until you get the lever just there, and then it starts to. Then you get the power. Okay, so this is the 20 mile per hour top speed. I mean, actually 25 kilometer. So that's the low. Now we're at medium. Seems the same. Like they've just unlocked the high. Oh, there we go. Now medium. Doop, doop, doo, doo, doo. Howdy. That was nice of them to be extra safe. Yeah, that's important. Is yours a beta unit or because it's all like wood deck? Yeah, I think this one was actually one of the beta units that he was working on for it. Cool. Yeah, it's got like the, the different fender. Looks all like the Batmobile kind of. Yeah, <laughs> got to run it through those tests. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> it, it does feel pretty stable. I like that. This new generation of like bigger tires really helps. Howdy. Master rider. He's on the bike or what is he on this? We'll get you a bike. Hey, we'll get you a bike that can keep up. That's a 60 amp bike. 60 amp bike over there. Boom. My God, they're fun, huh? They make your eyes. Hey, they got. That's why I got my glasses. Better. Yeah. They make your, oh, so you wore the glasses. <laughs> this, I'm pro, dude. I'm thinking ahead. I think I. What's that one all about? Okay, so this is um, a BBSHD. This is a frame that uh, 
we're re about to release. It's going to be our first Luna branded frame. Yep. Um, it's going to have a custom battery pack designed to fit in here. Yeah. Right. That we're working on. Do you see it? Being oh yeah, yeah, that thing. Cool. And uh, you're going to like it. Yeah. So this. You know, at first I was like, that's a weird looking thing, but that's just designed to show you, here's the space that you can fill. And then you've designed something around that. So it looks nicer at the end. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like the suspension or something going on. That's the inside of the triangle. Yeah, yeah. So check suspension, out, right suspension right coils. Check out our color display. And we actually, oh, I hear display. people say this all the time, but we did go visit Bafang and we're pretty close with them. And we did help them with the design of the color display. Sweet. And they sent us about three or four, Oh, look. Is it going the right way? There yeah. you go. See, and that's one of the nice things about the connectors. Yeah. Is that, um, you let can't you... plug them in one. There. Hey, it's nice there and smooth. Go. It's got a swap meter on it. What's it? So you've got your displays and then this something over here? This is the amp power gauge I was telling you about. Oh, yeah. I and mean, this really tells you when your battery's going to run out. Huh. Like, it's like kind of like, I'm a pilot, so I use a lot of plane analogies. Mm -hmm. You can have like a fuel gauge on a plane and give you an idea yeah. when your battery, when your fuel is going to run out. And then they have like fuel gauges that that measure every sip of gas that goes through the line. Yeah. And that's what an it's like a spinner gauges. kind of thing. So yeah. it's when you're and draining it. It costs like a thousand bucks. Yes, right. Is it? It works. Yeah, I didn't even turn the power off to the bike. Nice, man. That, that was, was a quick just fix. The charge lead that got hooked. It wasn't the oh, actual. Oh, it wasn't the actual. It wasn't the power. It was just the charge lead. So you just taped well, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Should I hop on this one then? Hey, let's go, Josh. S you take this one. I'll go on my bike. No, I got my bike. My, my bike's oh, on yeah. Yeah, So race. how's this set up? There, is guys. there any assist or is it just throttle? It has both. This it has, has assist, so huh? So you're on two right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And Justin's uh, big, you know, e-bike PA invented the e uh, cycle analyst. Cycle and analyst. And you know what? Eventually, like, that, that's where the production market is not keeping up. Like, when are they going to figure out an amp power game? You know? Yeah. Okay. Cool, the shift sensing works pretty well. Felt pretty good. Doing the throttle. Oh, there he goes. Hey, bud. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, really smooth. You like it? Yeah, I, I especially like the shift sensing integration. It, it surprised me at first because I shifted not really knowing or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes the bike faster, which I really like. Yeah, yeah and then I can keep up pedaling wise. You know, I'm, what we're doing here, I've got a full face helmet on right now and filming on the street. Hey, bud. Loving those hydraulic disc brakes. I think you absolutely need those <laughs> for this kind of riding. Yeah, so this is the BBS HD, huh? That's it. Yeah, it feels more powerful. I've tested it once before, but you know, this is, what's the battery pack? You know what, that one's souped up a little bit. It's got like our, our hot rod controller. Yeah. So that one actually puts out 50 amps. 50 amps, oh man. And the battery puts out 50 amps as well. So it needs the battery pack to match that. Is that like the C rating for the battery packs a little bit higher? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's the BMS. Most batteries will put out 50 amps, no problem, but the BMS is... Oh, limits it to like 20 a lot of times. Yeah, you know, like, it's easier, like, the, um, you know, part of the problems that we're figuring out, like, it's easier to sell a lower amperage BMS, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, the pack's more dependable, it's easier. Yeah. You know, like, it's not as hard on the sales. So if you want a pack to last a long time, you know, uh, uh, 20 amp BMS, you know? Yeah. And a 20 amp BMS will give you burst of 30, 40 amps. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of companies do that. Huh. Hey, yeah, this is, it's a good mix. Like they each feel a little different. Yeah, they really, well this one, I can feel this one's suspicions a little swirly. Yeah, that one is. You know, it's like, you're not used to the feeling, but once you get used to it, it's okay. There's not a lot of dampening you're, going you're, on. When you're, when you're hitting the throttle, it, it, it kind of tweaks the frame, mm -hmm. you know? But it feels like it's loose, but it's fine, you know? Yeah. I like that light. 
<laughs> I got to say, I've had a lot of fun on these things. I'd love to test the products, but a lot of what we tested today, it was like a mishmash. Of course, they have the kids here. Maybe we'll see scooters someday. I'm not going to be able to do full reviews of the bikes, but at some point, like maybe send me some or, you know, yeah, come yeah, back sure. and check it out. But, you know, it's been a ton of fun just walking around the shop. Do you have any closing thoughts? So this is, uh, me and Ashley got engaged this year. Aww. But the, the sad story is that we don't even have time for anything. <laughs> the, the sacrifices we've made for this business is we don't have time to do our own grocery shopping. <laughs> we don't have time to buy our dogs food. I don't uh, have time to shake. Oh no, it's been a while. <laughs> no, dogs still eat good. They still eat good. Yeah, it's still we, good. They yeah. eat good and we feed the crazy neighbor's dog. And, yeah. and it's like, but the sad part is we have given up almost everything. We're going to have our first vacation together at Interbike. Oh, yeah. is that I'm gonna see you there? It's yeah. gonna it's and, gonna be awesome. But we've given up everything, and like like we don't ride much anymore. No, we don't. We have to live in LA. We're stuck in LA, and you know she hasn't traveled in her life. <laughs> and we definitely don't have time to get married. So we one of, idea of ours was we're gonna get married. We're gonna pack up all our batteries into a. a RV, and we're gonna go across the country and distribute them to everybody. Oh, cool! And that would be like our honeymoon. You know, and um, Luna Love Tour. That's gonna be the Luna Love Tour. I like it. And that way we could keep doing this. And get, but you know, but uh, really, it's a lot. <laughs> and it, it's a lot for her. And yeah. her parents feel sorry for her sometimes, and they come over and take care of us and help us with shipping. And that's nice. And, uh, and, Do and our Costco shopping. And it, yeah. it's not like everybody wants to say it, it's a it's a lot. And she <laughs> had all the shipping on her at one point, and it was like, thanks to Kathy. Is Kathy there? It's no longer, you know, uh, now, you know, while we were assembling the team, but in the beginning, it was just me and this girl, and it was, Aww. it was really, really tough. Good job, yeah. you guys. Well, and again, yeah. thank you both. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to get to come check out the shop, get the behind the scenes, and just have a conversation, just learn. You know, that's the idea. Yeah. And I think yeah. it worked out pretty well. Yeah. It's sweet. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> One little yeah. low five. Thanks that's what awesome. I'm talking about. But dude, this girl does all the nuts and bolts. <laughs> It has so much and, stuff. <laughs> that's I mean, awesome. Like it's amazing what she can do. I'm saying if you can just do what this girl does, like we're we're like flying. Like uh, like um, I can't even tell you how much she does. And I told her parents, man, this girl is like learning so much. And, like our accounting, to, like everything just seems so tough. Like <laughs> like I can't even tell you. Like, Good partnership. Partnership. The partnership's been fun. I think it, it, we that part's been really easy. I think. We don't mind working together and stuff, but... I was surprised how well we work together. We would yeah. only spend like 24 hours together. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Are you there when we're like talking on the phone texting? <laughs> <laughs> She's close by. Yeah. You know, but... Uh -huh. um, yeah, but... Um, well, we've taken... Uh, this is like a couple hours probably at this yeah. point we haven't you haven't even had dinner i yeah, just got out. here we're gonna cut out this is the end this is the it it was awesome all right let's go man. ride safe you guys